So with all the games that are out from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth to Reloaded and Relinked, there's a lot, of, a lot of R's rolling off the tongue lately. You know, I, I, again, I live in California, y'all. No, but for real, all jokes aside, Mother 3 just got released on the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack for the Game Boy Advance Library. But the bad thing about it is it's only for Japanese players. Yeah. Um, so if you ever thought we were going to get the English non-ROM emulated, should I even be talking about ROMs and emulation? Oh, shit. Oh, they... Nintendo, don't... They... Oh, they coming for you, boy. Hold on, y'all. They... <laughs> they coming for me. I'm, listen, fair use. Fair use. I'm just talking about emulation. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it, Nintendo. I ain't got nothing. For real. <laughs> Leave me alone. Mother 3 or Earthbound 3? I guess it's just Mother 3 since we never got Earthbound 1, technically, because Earthbound, Earthbound is Mother 2, and Mother 1, um, yeah, it's kind of the whole Final Fantasy um, thing where we thought 2 was, was 4 and 3 was 6. Yeah, yeah, that. It was revealed at Japan's version of Nintendo's Direct Partner Showcase, but at the time of the article and the time I'm making this video, um, yeah, it's still no news for when we're going to be get any Earthbound beginnings and oh, Earthbound and oh, nothing. The only thing we've gotten for years now, like seriously, Nintendo, relax, is the fan translation of the Game Boy Advance ROM, which I played years ago. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to finish the game, um, which I do need to go back and finish the game because from what I did play, I really enjoyed it, and it could have been even better than Earthbound, which is one of my favorite games, definitely one of my favorite SNES games. If you thought that uh, Kumataro, uh, she was my favorite in the game, you are correct. Because from Mother 1 and Mother 2 with Paula and Anna, she was completely the opposite. Even being what she is, she was not feminine. She was a tomboy. And that was refreshing, um, especially, like I just said, from the old games that always had, you know, the nicey nice Clint, oh, Clint, Mint, like from Tales of Fantasia or Fina from Skies of Arcadia or uh, Aerith, you know, the nicey nice white magic healing type girls. To have a female character with, let's say, characterization, because a tomboy is part of a characterization, because it's layers to unmask underneath. I always thought she should have been in Smash Brothers. I advocated, I wrote Nintendo, I did polls, everything. Of course, I wanted Geno first and then Isaac, but I really felt that she should have been in the game more than Lucas. The only reason I felt that they did Lucas is the same reason they did a lot of characters because they were just clones. She should have been in there. There is a mod for it, um, but the mod is either you take Zelda's body um, but she looks like too huge. She doesn't look the whole chibi nest thing. Nobody's did a Lucas. That's the one I wanted to see a Lucas swap skin swap for well whole character swap with her that I thought would be cool. They got one that got the model, but it's on like another character and then they got the one with Zelda. So it's kind of like the three bears. It is, but it's not right. It's just not in the middle. Fans, including myself, have been screaming and hollering for years now about the fact that we want to see this game. So much so that even Rezzy fils himself came out on X, aka Twitter, not too long ago talking about, hey, look, I don't even work for Nintendo no more. Maybe y'all should talk to Nintendo about that. And, well, Reggie, we have. In... Just like with Star Fox, <laughs> just like with F-Zero, just like with bringing back Donkey Kong Country, 
Nintendo is not listening. They just want to make Mario and Zelda. Not that we don't love Mario and Zelda, but maybe one day we'll get it. Um, <clears throat> legitly? But until then, I guess we're just stuck ramming. But in the meantime, there was some really cool mother plushes that came out called the Mother Projects, which has Lucas, Klaus, Kamataro, and Duster. They'll be available in May, and yeah, <laughs> this time we'll be able to get it here in the States. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. If you did like this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out a lot, and it lets YouTube know that you like the content that you're seeing so they can push it in front of the hundreds and thousands and millions potentially of other people who wanna see, see the content. And if you do love RPGs and you wanna stay up to date with all things geek, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I make geekly content here on the channel all the time. And don't forget to watch the archives. Check it out on Saturday, every Saturday, 5 p.m. to midnight PST. Seven hours of pure, unadulterated role play. And as always in the web, remember to eat, geek, sleep, repeat. I'll holler at you on the next one. Deuces.